Really? Oh, you're kidding me. Hello, hey. In today's tutorial, we're going to take a brand new lantern and we're going to do, make it look really old and dirty with a fake rust finish. We're going to make the glass all dirty uh, and we're going to make a candle out of a dollar store candle uh, to use in your haunt or your Halloween display. Okay, for this project we'll need a lantern, it can be any kind, cinnamon, a fake candle, spider webs, paint, glue, brushes, and flat black paint. So this lantern is the one I'm going to use. My wife got this for me on clearance at a grocery store. It's like end of season, summer, and type thing. You can use whatever kind of lantern for this tutorial. I'm going to be using this one. And uh, the first step is to remove the glass. Uh, another thing I wanted to mention is that this will be near the trick-or-treaters and the people that come to see it. So I do not recommend using an open flame. So I'm going to be using one of these fake little candles, either this one or, or a more expensive one. This is from the dollar store. If I use this, I'm going to do some grunging up to it. I'm going to add some wax looking strings with my glue gun and maybe some dry brushing. Now this particular lantern, it just has some tabs here and here holding the glass. I'm just going to pry those gently uh, to get the glass out. There you go. There's the piece of glass. Uh, the reason I'm uh, Removing this is uh, two reasons. One, I'm going to spray paint about a third of it with this flat black paint. And this will give the illusion of a soot that has built up on the, on the lamp. So that soot line will be somewhere around here. And the other reason is when I do the rust finish on this lamp, I don't want it to get on the glass. I'm also going to do some antiquing on the glass uh, using glue and some colors to make it look a little hazy and dirty. When I finish removing these uh, pieces of glass, all three of them, I won't bore you watching me struggle through removing the pieces. So I'm going to speed up to it and when I'm done, then I'll see you at the garage where I'll uh, spray paint the soot with uh, black paint. Okay, we're in the garage now with our trusty flat paint, flat black. We're going to try and do the the soot on these glasses. They're hard to see but I have all four of them lined up here on the newspaper and what I'm going to do is spray that top third which aligns with about that line. All right it's gonna be a very light dusting. I'm gonna do it from really far away and try to hit just the tops of the glass. But that is what we're trying to achieve. If you can see it, it's dark on the top, light on the bottom. So I'm going to let these guys dry. And we'll go back in and start with our rust finish uh, inside in the studio. For this step, we're going to take some paint. We're going to make a dark brown and a dark blue. And we're going to start dabbing that onto the lamp. And we're going to start with a darker color and go into a lighter color. And then we're going to start with an orange and finally with uh, our secret ingredient. So let me mix the paint up and uh, we'll start uh, getting the finish on this guy. Okay, as you can see I've done like a rainbow type thing starting with blue, a bit of black, brown and then all the way light to like a dark burnt uh, yellow. And uh, what we're going to start doing is just pick up a little bit of this and start dabbing it on the lantern in uh, very uh, random spots. So you can see just uh, the dabbing, that's where the secret is. Don't brush, you dab. When you dab, you get the raised, see if you can see it, if I can get the light, where it starts looking like blistering rust. And then the different variation in colors, getting a little bit of blue and then moving this black into a blue starts making it more natural, like a real weather thing. So I'm going to keep dabbing this 
and uh, going back and forth between the blue, the brown, and the light yellow until I get a whole coat over the whole thing. Also keep in mind that the edges, right, this inside edge, outside edge, these guys right here rust quicker, right? That's where the water runs and seeps in. So those are gonna be lighter. So those are where we're going to put the highlights later. But for now, let's uh, finish uh, dry dabbing. Well, it's not really dry dabbing, just dabbing the paint onto the whole lantern. After you're done dry dabbing the lantern, it should look something like this. As you can see, it's very random colors, random shading. I hope you can get it from the light. I'll try to get some better shots. But that's the first step. So the next step I'm going to do is mix a batch of orange, a bright kind of orange and a dull kind of orange using red, yellow, another red, this is scarlet, crimson, regular yellow, which is cadmium yellow, I believe, and then a ochre. So we're going to have a gradation of oranges and we're going to dry dab that over the high spots, which I like, like I said, are the edges where the rust would accumulate, like on these bottom edges, uh, where it's lighter. I'm gonna make it even lighter. All right, as you can see, I have some uh, of the two yellows here and here, and then a little bit of this red and this red, and I've got some really good orange going on. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're going to just dry dab like that over the parts of the lantern that we want to be like, uh, extra crispy if you will a little bit more uh, uh, rusted than the rest so let's uh, show you how to do this bottom piece right here and uh, that is where the rust color will start coming out and looking really good and grungy and uh, thing is you can overdo this so just uh, do a little bit like that make it look like it's starting to rust so you see that? So I'm going to continue to do this all over the lantern. Uh, you follow me at home, and uh, when I'm done with that, then we'll uh, add the next step. So we're going to let this dry and uh, while this dries we're going to go get the pieces of glass and we're going to uh, make them look really old and dingy and uh, dirty. Uh, so I'm going to go see if those uh, pieces of glass dried and uh, we'll start with the next step. I came back from the garage and our glass as you can see is dry. It's a little bit tacky still but it's mostly dry. Uh, so it looks like soot on one side and like it's burnt. So the next step is to make it look even dirtier. And what we're going to do is take a little bit of water. There's like a, maybe a spoonful. Take some school glue. Any kind will do that is school glue. This, uh, this will dry really hazy. So I'll make it look like it's really dirty. And we're going to get food coloring. I'm going to do one drop of uh, red. Just a tiny little drop. You don't want it to be too red just to have a orangish tint. And then about five or six drops of yellow. Or seven. And we're going to take a brush, mix it all real well, the glue and the water. Orange makes a wicked orange color. There you go. It's all frothy too, it doesn't matter. Uh, those uh, bubbles will pop, and if they don't, they look they still look uh, 
like old stuff. We're going to just coat the glass. Uh, you gotta let it dry and decide if that's enough color or if you want more. Uh, once it's dry, you're going to look at it and see if you like it that grungy or if you want it grungier. Uh, the more grungy you want it, the more coat you use. So for now I'm going to do just one coat uh, and let it dry, see what it looks like. In my other tutorial with uh, witches lanterns, we did two coats and it was pretty opaque so that you could just see the glow of your candle without seeing that it was a fake candle, okay? While that glass is drying, it'll take a few minutes and we'll let it dry, maybe do a couple more coats of the glue mixture. We're going to do the secret ingredient, which is not that secret, I'm sure you already know what we're gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna take one of these little brushes and glue. I'm gonna make a tiny little pile of glue here. Right, and uh, what we're going to do here is uh, quite simply, hold on, I lost my brush now. Which one was it that I had? Try this one. Uh, oh, wrong one. Okay, so we're going to get a brush. i get some glue right here. Uh, and we're going to just get the brush wet with glue and just uh, touch a few of the areas where you want some highlight, where the worst rust is. Those areas, you're just going to dab a little bit of glue. Edges. Usually the rust accumulates on the edges, like I mentioned before. So that's where you will want to put the glue. So we're going to just dab it. And if you dab it, it gives it that, uh, that random pattern. So you don't have like a perfectly straight line. And you can put a few dots outside of, that, of your line. It doesn't have to be perfect. Once you're done with that, that's where we go with our cinnamon. Uh, you can get, use the dollar store cinnamon. Don't use uh, the good cinnamon. I tried to use the good cinnamon and I got caught and I got in trouble. So I went to Walmart and got me this guy for like, it was a dollar something. And then they also have it at the dollar store. Uh, but this cheap one, you don't want this for, for flavor. We're gonna use it for our uh, tutorial. What this will do is give us that 3D texture of rust. What we're going to do is sprinkle it on the glue all over, so uh, do it a little bit at a time. So I'll do this area, sprinkle it, do this area, sprinkle it, do this area, and keep doing it. Um, I'll speed up through this process, but that's what we'll do. Now this looks like a ton, but once you blow it off, it'll leave just the spots where you put the glue. Once this rust dries, you can brush it off. Like it's coming down here on the paper. I don't know if you can see it from that angle here. I'll move it and save it for your next Halloween project, not for your next cake or donut or cinnamon roll, for your next project that you're not going to eat. Okay, so there you have it. It's covered in cinnamon, which gives it that wonderful rusted texture. I did on all the corners where we had put the bright orange. So what I'm going to do is let this dry thoroughly and then using a very soft brush, something kind of like this one, it's like my softest one, or even softer, just brush the excess off so that you don't lose that uh, dry dabbing and coloration that we worked so hard on doing. So while this dries, I'm gonna go get the glass, see what it looks like. And if that's still wet, then we're going to just address our little fake crappy candle from the dollar store. So the glass and the lantern are not dry yet, so we're going to go ahead and work on uh, making this candle a little bit better looking than this. Uh, this is what you get at the dollar store. You get, I think it's a pack of two for a dollar, and it's just your regular, yeah, see if you can see it, flickering light. Um, first thing I'm gonna do is put some wax on it, and what we'll do is use our 
trusty pink glue gun and uh, put a little edge of glue and then I'm gonna have some drips down the side. Uh, hope you can see it on the video. Try my best to show you how I do this. And this works on every candle that you wanna, every fake candle that you wanna make it look real. Uh, we're gonna paint over this so it doesn't matter. And the more uh, uneven it is, the cooler it looks. It looks like a real uh, witch's candle. So there's your edge. And now we're going to make the drips. Uh, all we do is put a lot, let it drip down the side. See if you can see that. can see that dripping right there. We're going to continue doing that. Okay, so there you go. I think all those little stringies off, but I think I messed this one up. There, fixed. So there's your wax. We're going to paint over this. So um, I'm going to use a uh, ochre mixed with a little bit of white to make like a yellowish candle. Then we're going to start just painting them. Just like that. Okay, so that candle dried up, the paint on the candle dried, and I gave it another coat of just some white streaks. And that just makes it look a little old and dingy. So there's our candle. Let's go get the rest of the stuff and uh, start assembling the lantern. The glass has now dried, and as you can see, I put my face behind it. It's opaque and kind of yellow. I'll try to give you an angle where you can see that's the, the matte side and this is the shiny side, right? This is the side we're going to use for the outside. So these are done and dry. This, I have brushed this excess cinnamon off and now it looks just like a really dirty, grungy, um, rusted lantern. And we did our candle, not the prettiest job ever but this is going to be hardly visible from the from the inside we just needed to blow through the opaque uh, yellow glasses so let me reassemble this and I'll show you the final product so there you have it I put the glass back it's all nice and dirty put the candle back if you can see it, I'll turn the light off any minute there's a rust finish with the cinnamon and the dry dabbing we did uh, and there's your lantern. Uh, you turn this light off and you can see the lantern glowing. This will look perfect uh, anywhere you put it. So before we wrap up this uh, tutorial, I wanted to tell you that if you want to use this outdoors, just uh, make sure you spray it with uh, polyurethane, maybe like a yeah, like a spray polyurethane would work just uh, do like three or four very light coats don't make it too heavy that way you can preserve your uh, the texture of the cinnamon and uh, all the color gradations that we work so hard to get uh, so there you go uh, as always if you like it uh, give it a thumbs up like this and subscribe also go to the website monstertutorials.com uh, if you go to like slash email or click on any of the orange banners it will take you to the email sign up and what that will do is I'll just send you an email next time I have a tutorial out I was thinking of making some sort of reaper holding this lantern outside as it greets the trick-or-treaters so if you want to see how I make that uh, that uh, reaper or floating ghost holding the lantern, then uh, make sure you're on the email list so you're the first one to know when it's out there. So thank you for watching, and don't forget to visit us, monstertutorials.com.
Ciao.